Staring at a blank page or procrastinating on your creations has a lot to do with lacking a process. It's gotten a lot easier for me to be consistent with my art by putting repeatable steps in place. Creating systems and routines in my art practice has been as valuable as good habits are in the rest of my daily life. I'm heading to the library now where I took that reference photo so that I can get some color spots and do a little bit of studying the scene because I'm not confident that the photo has the richness I want, so let's go. Also don't think I can spend much time at the library. I have to go do something afterwards. You see him? It's so close. 45 minutes, let's do it. Before I pick up a brush, I need a concept and a reference image. So this gets a dedicated block of time for me to go explore different environments or themes in my life. I like to collect as much information from an experience or reference upfront. When you're working from photographs, any additional notes are helpful, like I did here with color spots mixed from observation that I can look back at later. Or you can do this by observing a subject from different perspectives to better understand understand a space, the lighting, or the objects in it. For me, this hunt of finding the right image is a big step in creating strong compositions that also resonate with who I am, and it's my way of being an explorer in any ordinary place. Bye bye! bye. Glad I got that done. Hopefully it'll be helpful. It is so calming to just sit in there in the quiet. Now, to the next chore. After I've settled on an image and its design, I still need a surface to work on, which I can now make exactly to the size that fits my composition. Lately, I prefer to work on wood panels, which are quite a bit cheaper to make at home from plywood than buying them pre-made. Then I can also customize the surface right from the start, adding gesso and sanding it to get the smooth finish that I want. In between layers of gesso, I worked on a mixed media sketch with the purpose of discovery only. I'm not trying to create something beautiful or totally accurate here. I just want to play with the image and experiment, building layers, finding relationships, and honestly, to loosen up and have some fun. It's also a good opportunity to notice what attracted me to the image in the first place and develop my concept before beginning to paint. Here we go again, one more layer. Good morning, it's almost nine. It is freezing cold, it's like fall just decided to rush in and now I've got all my layers on. I am gonna finish preparing my wood board today. Draining one denim for another. Now, an underdrawing can look different and serve different purposes for everyone. At this point though, I personally want a more solid structure to layer on top of, so I plot out the line work with a ruler. And no matter how much you love art or creating, there are times that the work will drag out and I try to embrace it knowing that the struggle and time consumption is a part of making something beautiful. But it totally helps to balance out this work with play. Now I'm warming up. Switching up my environment or listening to podcasts and music that I enjoy. It's September 27th. I woke up and everyone in this house is gone. Cut my hair last night. Clearly it's not like made up nice or anything, but 
Anyways, my point is, it's cold and we are going to avoid the studio slash garage today and work in here. Recognize that spot? A lot of work goes into a piece before any real progress shows, and that can be a challenging aspect in any part of our day or life. So developing this process has helped a lot to keep me engaged in my work and improve the quality of my paintings and my mood overall. It's taken me a while to get to the point that I'm at right now because I've been spending a lot more time developing my process and I've been enjoying it. The next step that I'm going to be working on is doing the underpainting and blocking in values with one tone and this will bring some warmth to the image. <laughs> 